Gang, come see the boys at an Are You Garbage live show. Tickets are moving quick, and all tickets are available at areyougarbage.com. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's new favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Yeah, it is. It's that little show we sit there with your favorite comedians and we find out if they're good to be classy. Yeah. Or just a big old piece of trash. Garbaggio. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here at Tootie's in the new edition. The car's not starting out front. She needs a jump. Okay. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. <laughs> Mr. Rect is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He's an international businessman. He's the chicken parm hero. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Chicken parm hero. I smell some new merch coming your way, gang. <laughs> Dude, the With chicken. sauce on the side. <laughs> Damn, the chicken. Chicken parm hero. Oh, I got to start coming. Somebody make that song, cut it, and I'm coming out on stage to it. Chicken palm hero. We gotta cut the boys in. Who's that? Kiss? It's somebody. It's not kiss. Isn't it uh, Journey? No. No. You uh, kidding me? T Bone. Lunch. Foreigner. Him. Foreigner. Oh, I knew it was somebody like that. They're foreign. They, Ooh, they also sing "I Want to Know What Love Is." I, I want to know what love is. Oh, that was on an episode of Miami Vice. Tubbs was fucking knocking boots with some bra. Tubbs is right next to me. What are you talking about? <laughs> Kevin James Ryan. Everybody. What's up, everybody? Shout out Rude. to you. Thanks for tuning in. As Bite always, my style too. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full yes. video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are true to roof. Cooking. Cooking. Then obviously the greatest website of all time. You pull out your little computer, little tablet, little iPad, whatever, Apple Watch, go over to www.patreon.com mm-hmm. slash are you garbage mm-hmm. and you can get up to and including mm-hmm. two bajillion hours of content over it's there. A lot of stuff over there. A lot of videos, a lot of a lot of episodes, uh-huh. a lot yes. of vlogging. A lot of vlogging. Uh-huh. Also, somebody told me it was like you might the hot dog contest, Disney. Oh, everything's on there. The Cribs videos. I mean, all the travel and shit we've done. It's there's so much stuff. Put if, it all back into business. Yes. If you're not for, if you're not, if you don't know Patreon, which many people might not, somebody told me this. It was like, hey, you know, I always just there's an app for it on your phone. It's not just a website. You can go, you can get it on your phone. All the content on your phone, the videos, the audio, whatever you want, you can throw it on your RSS feed, mm-hmm. so it automatically gets uploaded there. Mm-hmm. Not sure how to do it, but I know it can be done. <laughs> How about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man, makes us all look good. Works the ones, the twos, the threes, and the fours. He crosses the T's and he dots the I's. Sometimes gets into the nines, too. Mm-hmm. Give it up for T-Bone McScruffins, Toby McMullen, everybody. What up, boys? What thrasher up, shirt. Where's Thrasher? I'm wearing a Thrasher shirt and you're dressed like a couple of stagehands. Yeah. <laughs> <Already laughs> and the to, fight continues. Ready to change some yeah. sets, eh, fellas? I <laughs> think it's crazy. That you guys look like a puppet troupe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doing children's theater. What do you think's crazy, Henry? Please we look like, tell look like me. waiters at a new restaurant. <laughs> Just wear something black. We don't yeah. have a corporate. We don't have a corporate uh, uniform. I was always jammed up with that. That first couple nights waiting tables before they got my uniform or whatever it is. Mm. Ooh, man, look like an idiot. Yeah. Just wearing a vest. <laughs> no t shirt. Your t shirt, your armpit hair's popping. <laughs> look like you're waiting tables at Chippendales. Yeah. I always, uh, I was, uh, I was always pretty bad because, like, I was such a fat guy, no. kid, no. person that they never really had. They had, like, you know, I remember, like, Acme, when I started working at Acme, a uh, uh, supermarket, uh, all they had was like a large and like a th- broccoli box, a three X, dude. And I was like, I can't do this, dude. I was snug <laughs> in this large. It was it was so bad that where you could see the belly button. You know what I mean? Like it was like so tight. Over oh, that there was like it was like a trampoline on my on my on my tum tum. Man, that's yeah. a tough look. I would always every new restaurant that I started working at. It was guaranteed that once I got the kitchen straightened out, once I had them on the team, a couple of jokes, a couple of this, maybe a little thing, whatever. Sure. I was putting on about 50 pounds. So whatever they gave me, I was going to bust through it like the Hulk. Mm-hmm. I remember the one restaurant I worked at after like a couple of months, my the boss came in. 
He said to the bartender, he's like, man, he's been <laughs> he's been getting after it. This guy likes an appetizer. Check the family meal tapes. This guy's grubbing. Do you remember any t- any tizers? Any tizers? Uh, let me get eyes on that. Are you talking about the Tyson any tizers, frozen joints? Yes, I am. What's that? Chicken nuggies? Chicken nuggies, chicken tenders. There was, but the... they're but they're not just for appetizers, Hank. It's any teasers? They're any teasers. Oh, wow, oh, man, those hit the scene. <laughs> Good night, <laughs> Buffalo style boneless chicken bites for, for a balanced breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Send your fat little one off to the school bus, I... reeking like blue cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I remember hearing any teasers and being like, "Give that whoever came up with that, give him a raise." That guy's got me hook, line, and sinkies. <laughs> Wee! Yeah, shout out to the fucking anytizer. I think it's crazy. Now that I think about it more and more, you can't you can't monopolize the black t-shirt. You just can't. It's well documented. And then like you do this like obtuse thing where you're like, we're sitting at we're sitting there getting ready to record. You're like, is that what you're gonna wear? It's like, you mean the t-shirt I've worn? In fucking 400 episodes. Well, you got a yeah. little competition now, pal. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I- there's a new magician on the block. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mime, you idiot. <laughs> hey, give me a give me a pack of cards. I eh? said he was new. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I thought I thought this was mime school. <laughs> I can't talk. What are you talking? <laughs> I'm an entertainer. <laughs> a mime that sings. I, how are you supposed to get a laugh if you can't say a punchline? Um, Do you know any mimes growing up? What? <laughs> no, I mean, what that's, what? Did you ever go and like see one or have like one come to school or anything like that? A mime? Yeah, nah, we did. I would have roughed them up. Some kid's sure. dad was a Try mime. Put me in a box. Yeah, <laughs> fuck out of here. Some yeah, ki- nobody can hear you scream. Some kid's dad was a mime, and he showed up. He didn't. They wasn't paying the bills with it. Sure, it's more of a passion project. He had a, yeah. he had a day gig. <laughs> sure, but he came in in like fifth grade. And just, I can't remember what it was for. It wasn't like parent day. I had two weird experiences with that. I had that. This guy just came in, the, the white face. Fucking, <laughs> fucking skid sucker punch. Like, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Bro, you better say something right now. I'm going to fuck you up. You're uh, weirding enough, everybody out. Enough of these games. Fucking say something. <laughs> Somebody get him out of this box. Um, it has to have been done, but a sketch of guys torturing a mime, trying to get him to talk, ripping his fingernails that's out. That's really so. good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's doing this and he came in and did it and he was into it, man. He had the, the black and white stripes. He had the beret, the little red uh, neckerchief or whatever it was, mm-hmm. man. We made fun of this kid for about seven years. Sure. sure. Talk about a tough look. Uh, that reminds me. Um, I, I, uh, I, I was at a buddy's birthday party. Might have been eight or nine ish, mm-hmm. maybe a 10 piece. I uh, had it at his house, and in the backyard, uh, you know, it was like a hang. I would say, you know, they had like a, maybe like a basketball net in the driveway. It was just like, you know, kids hanging in the backyard. No real, like, huge theme or festivity. I got gotcha. you. It's like a summer day, whatever, sure. just hanging and banging. And um, we're there having a good time, and then Giggles the Clown rolls up, and Giggles <laughs> was the mother of a, f- of a classmate, uh, <laughs> Paul, and... Paul's mom was giggles and she would come to like, you know, she did like all like the stuff at the school. She was all right. She could, you know, she was, I think that was her main source of it. She was, they hit, they hit. She was working, man. Yeah. The school was like, especially back then, man, you could really go far in local entertainment. Yeah, they did. Like we had like the, the Holland hoopty do. That was like our, uh, (laughs) man, saying this out loud is wild as a 30. That was like our our elementary school fair. You know what I mean? Like there was each room was like <laughs> there's like a blackjack table. <laughs> yeah, play Russian roulette in the gym. You know, somebody's <laughs> mom stripping, <laughs> doing a shower, <laughs> sh- doing a shower <laughs> show in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about the fifty fifty. The Holland hoop de doo sounds like a football play that shocked the world in the sure. 50s. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. It looks like they're, they're lining up for the Holland hoop de doo You kick it backwards, pitch it to the coach, dropped from an airplane. Man. The annexation of Puerto Rico. 
that from? <laughs> Little <laughs> giants. Oh, yeah. I like to call this one the annexation <laughs> yeah, of yeah. Portland. What, dude? I remember hearing that my brain exploded. Sleeper of a hit. Oh, man. Sleeper. I don't think it was a sleeper. Is that Ed O'Neill as the other coach? Yes. Man. Ed O'Neill, the guy that just got punched. Uh, Rick Moranis. Rick Moranis. A yeah. uh, lot of good kid actors in that, too. Great. Shout out to the Icebox. Yeah. That girl would really take you for <laughs> Man, it could, you know what I could use a lot more of? Ed O'Neill. Put him in everything. Modern Family. Ah, he's great. Killed it. He's great. Um, not to mention his wife in the... in Hachimachi, <laughs> I believe, is the, the word you're looking for. It's the technical term. For. <laughs> it's the, that's the medical term on you. <sighs> Sophia Vagara. Man, she's all right. Now. Beautiful. Um, talented. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all three of them, you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, so, wait, wait. <laughs> I think I know you're insinuating <laughs> crude and rude humor. <laughs> Man, we got the giggies today. But I'm over there at uh, this, this. The Holland Hoopty. No, no. She would work the Hoopty do. Uh-huh. She was getting school district cash. She, you know what I mean? Like they were paying her. She was the entertainment. Yeah. At all the different schools. So she was collecting. She was probably doing knew the DA. Or, what's it called? Not DA. What's, who's the guy that runs the school? Don't tell me. Superintendent. Sure, they run the school district. That guy was always a dick, wasn't he? Yeah. They Every snow day got blamed on him. Oh, every yeah. teacher. Superintendent be- keeps canceling school. Dude, I remember the principal. You're not going to get out until August 11th. Principal chewing my ear off about him one time. I was like, I never even met this guy. Hey, buddy, what the fuck? <laughs> you catch a smoke or something. <laughs> Missed my bus, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the middle of a dodgeball game. Buddy, we're tanking here. Tough break, Foley. Shit rolls downhill. Busting my chops. Um, but uh, giggles. It, so giggles was there. She did all right. It was she was she was the mother of Paul, who used to eat styrofoam cups a lot from day to day. Shout out to shout him. out to P Unit, and uh, <laughs> that's what he used to call him. So you get when your mom's a clown, dude. And you're in. You're eating fucking. You're eating. You're you eating. Get a, to, you get a toilet paper eater. <laughs> and you're eating party supplies. <laughs> The hell's that whistle? Paul. <laughs> I never really ate anything weird. You ate your mom's deodorant. Oh, yeah, that's right. Shit. <laughs> and dog food. And dog food. A little dirt, too. And, and three microphones <laughs> last year. I like the little dirt, the pot, potting soil with the what, the little white things in them. Oh, I didn't trust those. The yeah. styrofoam, Johns? No. Like the, the little balls? Those things you squeeze? Those, that, that's fertilizer, dude. Yeah, but you're talking about soil, like yeah. topsoil. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they With had the, like little white balls in them. Yeah. Yeah, that was like styrofoam. Yeah, those to those make. are fertilizer pellets. Your yeah. farts must have been explosive. <laughs> Monsanto got their hooks on me early. Yeah, I remember eating that and getting yelled at. <laughs> yeah, it's for <laughs> Forget Rightfully it. so. But not in public. I was never really a big pace guy. <laughs> just sitting there on the bus. <laughs> you guys got did you, did you just defend your eating habits by saying you didn't eat pace? I didn't. I, I like It's kind of spearminty. Probably was, couldn't afford it. How do you know what it tastes like? <laughs> I tried it. <laughs> past hors d'oeuvres. Uh, past hors d'oeuvres at the... Uh, all and oopty do. <laughs> all and oopty do. <laughs> Oh, I'm okay. I just had a booger. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What's this in the spring outside? I picture a lot of haystacks around. No, no haystacks. They had like a thing where you. Who could was wait. running it? Knights of Columbus. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Who let their fingers in I the think, pot? I think it was the pagans. <laughs> Hell's Angels doing security. Nah, they don't make like a bad stone show. <laughs> Oh, man, he stinks. Why do I I'll stink? Let it do. I was six. Who came up with that? I don't know. Some tripped out teacher in the 70s, probably. <laughs> Some draft dodger smoking oh, doobies. Oh, man. That's mm. funny. Uh, I might have been. It was, I think it was like a fundraiser thing. You would buy tickets to it and stuff. It was. It was like the fundraiser, and you could like you know go play a game where you win a goldfish, or you you know there was like a school store type thing. I don't know. That's not whatever. She was working them. She was doing pretty good. It might have been like, it was at least a part time. She might have had like another part time job. You right. Know what I mean, I don't know if she was working full time. She was doing all right. Was Wasn't a surgeon. That's what I was trying to say. Um, but so at this birthday, I don't. Know, I can't believe I forgot, I never remember this. This birthday party. We go out. We're all in the backyard, and they go, "Okay, we have a special show for you. Come out front on the, like, the front patio." We go all right, and it's my buddy's dad in a in a karate gi. 
trying to crack into the business? <laughs> <laughs> Karate gi and a pair of, a pair of dockers. <laughs> He's on roller skating. And the thinnest planks you've ever seen. And he got to snap. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. No, they were they were cinder blocks. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he broke his hand. Chuck Norris made it look easy. He blows out his burster sack. You think he can break through? If I'm drunk enough, I think I can. <laughs> Quick, hand me, hand me the Jaeger. Wait, it was the kid's dad. It was the kid's house. The kid, the, the house you were at. It was his dad. Yeah. Okay. And the giggles it was already there, so he's the closer. He's closing he's, after giggles. He's closing. It comes out. The, I, we walk, and dude, he's at this point. He's hammered, drunk, <laughs> <laughs> intoxicated, <laughs> about to scar his children. Um. No, it was uh. So he had, I want to say, multiple cinder blocks stacked up on pennies to, like, give them, you know, so it was like a cinder block, maybe, like, five pennies in each corner, you know what I mean? And then, like, a cinder, like, so there was, like, a layer of... Okay. I don't know why. I guess that probably makes them break easier. There might have been, like, four or five. It was big. It was, you know, I mean, it was, like, that big. Okay. And he's... He's full zoned. He's... Did he do karate? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I mean, part time. I think. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think it was his full time gig. <laughs> okay. And he's standing over top of it, and dude, I've never seen. And me, I'm like, uh, this guy ain't gonna do this. You know, what I mean? like, I'm sitting there being like, no way he pulls this off. I ain't never seen him fucking you slice of tomato pie in your mouth. <laughs> oh, dude, in my head, he had a napkin with goldfish on him. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I would do, pro move for goldfish, put them in a red solo cup. That's how you eat goldfish on the move, my friend. <laughs> uh, just shaking them like a dead. You ain't going to make that. <laughs> I got a pack of bubble tape, says he. You don't get to the first one. <laughs> well, sir, your bet would have been all right. Yeah? He made it through the first one. A chop. No, like a yeah, one like of those a, like a coming down, like a like a palm of, of okay, death, you know, like a yeah. Mm -hmm. And man, it was one of those where he was going like standing over, going <sighs> for my next trick. I'm gonna go to the emergency room. <laughs> man, he made it through one cinder block, and then was like, "All right," and I was like, "This fucking buddy, give, give me my give me the car. Let me take another ten out of that thing." <laughs> This was the biggest waste of everybody's time in the neighborhood. Kip, do you like aura frames? Do I like bringing my family closer together to be a tight-knit unit and tell everybody we love them? We all do, gang. Think of your mom around this holiday season. Mm -hmm. You're the apple of mom's eye, so let's see your, let her see your shining face. All year round, you can do that. All year round, you can do that. You get to upload pictures. You get to upload new ones, video messages, whatever you want to do. It's fantastic. Keeping families together, aura frames. Yeah, it's one of those things. Uh, I, I, it's one of my go-to gifts because... It is. I don't want to say mine. It's an easy. It's an easy gift to get, and they everyone loves it. Who don't want to? Who don't want to see more pictures of the family, the grandma, the aunt, the uncles, the sister, even that and creepy And it stays uncle. fresh all year. I know it. It cycles through. It's fantastic. Nobody um, needs another sweater. Get aura frames. Yeah, and what the cool thing about it is, you can upload a video message to it. So when they get it, boom, they open it up, they plug it in. Video message playing as soon as they plug in. First thing they hear is your so voice. Sweet. So Come sweet. On, what are we doing? Bringing families together. <laughs> uh, right now, Aura is offering their best deal of the year for Cyber Monday. Listeners can save on the perfect gift by visiting AuraFrames.com slash garbage. That's Aura, A-U-R-A, frames.com slash garbage. Use the promo code garbage to get $40 off their best-selling frames. And as you know, terms and conditions may apply. Check it out. Promo code Kippy, Mint Mobile, Christmas. Let's go. We're doing it, gang. <laughs> Your loved ones that like those big ticket items on their Christmas list this year, you're going to want to save a little bit of cash. Uh -huh. And I got a good way you can save it. What's Let that? me ask you this, cue ball. How does $15 a month for a phone plan sound? That sounds crazy and probably impossible. No, you know how they do it? How's that? There's no brick and mortar. They pass the savings right onto the consumer. $15 plan starting over there at Mint Mobile. But it's probably <laughs> mobile, but it's probably what? Wacky service or something like that. Talking 5G, pinhead. On the largest. 5G. The, na the nation's largest 5G network. So stop overpaying on your cell phone bill so you can get those his and hers wave runners you've been eyeing. There oh, you my go. God. Achi machi. Uh, I've said for years, uh, my wife has been a longtime user of Mint Mobile. We got it for her. 
because uh, it was easy peasy. She needed a number. It's it's so easy. It's great. You go online. You click bada bing, bada boom. They ship it right to your door. You throw it in your phone. Keep Good your phone night. number. Keep your phone the whole nine yards. Only thing that changes is your bill, baby. And you get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get that plan shipped straight to your door for free. Go to mintmobile.com slash garbage. That's mintmobile.com slash garbage. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash garbage. Do it. I'm back to the show. Back to the show. We did the, uh, they did a big thing in, I think it was our local news uh, affiliate. This is in Wilkesbury when I was real little. Okay. We used to have this show called, uh, I, I, the, the woman that, that did it was Miss Judy. I can't remember. I think it was called Hatchy Malachi. I might have told you about this. I don't know. It was, it was the name of the show. It was like, um, I don't know, she looked like Snow White. It was like when, like a Captain Kangaroo type show. Okay. And they used to do a telethon every year. That Jerry Lewis telethon was big. Huge. And they had satellite ones all around the sure. country. So my dad's, the naval base that he was at, which there was no water anywhere. anywhere you were in Williamsburg or something. Williamsport, weren't you? <laughs> we were in Wilkesbury. Whatever. Ain't no ocean up there. Up in Avoca. And it was, I think it was next to the airport or it was next to where the, where the, uh, where the ABC studios were, the affiliate. Sure. <laughs> I'm not talking about the Paramount lot. <laughs> no, I'm, old, I'm aware. But they used to throw down this crazy... What strip mall was that in? <laughs> they used to throw down this crazy telethon, and they had everybody. They had Miss Judy. She, I think she ran the whole thing. She would show up. She was a dime piece, too, back yeah. in the day. Woo! Shout out to her. And Spider-Man. They had Spider-Man show up. Really? Yeah. Could you? T- was the costume good enough, or you were like, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it was just adult pajamas. It, yeah, <laughs> dude, it was just a guy scaring children. Uh-huh. That's what it was. But all that aside, folks, we got a gosh darn family episode on our hands. Family episode, just the bozos, the homies, and. The boys. Uh, and you know, when you sign up for Patreon, we will answer your garbage question yes. on the air. It's just the best way to do it. We got a lot of DMs, a lot of emails, a lot of smoke signals. The best way to do it. Mm-hmm. You join the Patreon, you throw your question up, we pull them from there. It's a good time. Yes, sir. There. Uh, all right, let's see here. This one's from War3030. Never have one read. Is it garbage if the casino you frequent also has a coin star machine? Ouch. Man, talk about letting it ride. Jammed up. How much change? Huh. What's in my head you ran out of money and you're collecting change. What casino were we in not that long ago that we left? Uh Buffalo. Buffalo. Buffalo the yeah. Seneca Casino. There's no action at the tables. It was no, there was action. It was packed, but they only had like three tables. Is open. that we played that the video? We played video roulette. Oh, uh, okay. That was a good it was like it's like physical roulette. The wheel spins, but your bets are uh, Digi. Digis. I was killing it on blackjack uh, on a Delta flight not that long ago. I oh, yeah. Bl- yesterday. Or, yeah. Not yesterday. Yeah. I remember I was sitting next to you. Yeah. You know what I learned on, the de- on that Delta flight? I was flight? betting heavy. 500, 500 bucks a hand. Plenty of money. Yeah. Um, but you win more when you don't care. Of course. The next time we go to a casino, that, that's going to be my strategy. What? I'm going to bet heavy. Okay. I think I might have blackjack figured out. Please, but why does that? Why does well, the, then you don't? How come the? De- <laughs> why do you get too caught? If there's no skill involved, why does the dealer win so much? Because you're trying to beat the dealer, right? Yeah. Well, what does that and mean? You don't know their card. The odds are in their favor. Why? I don't have all the statistics in front of me. Hmm. I think that's going to be my game, blackjack. Uh, yeah. Or what did you get on that? Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, we played, we played a lot on the cruise with mm-hmm. me, you, Bert, Big J, Norman, right. uh, Pete Lee, and that other guy. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Dude, what are you talking about? What? There was another guy next to me. I didn't oh, know yeah, he, he was right. a non-comic. Right, right, right. Like, right. He was like a, a production guy or something. I don't I didn't know who he was. Are you talking about Luke? It's because the player goes first, so you're more yes, likely to exactly. bust. exactly. You're acting on their... They're they're acting under a set of rules that never changes, and you don't know their bottom card. Well, from now so, on, I'm going to let him go. I'm gonna... <laughs> Please, sir. You go ahead. You got to wait. You go ahead. Fucking pull that shit on me. Yeah, so you're trying to beat them. But they don't know all my cards. Yes, they do. Oh, they do. What, what kind of fucking blackjack you playing, See, sir? that's the way it should be. We should have one up card and one down card like they have. That wouldn't change anything for them. Wouldn't it? Uh, the element of surprise. <laughs> Boom, I busted. <laughs> I got a 38. <laughs> Read it and weep, sister. 
Um, okay. You know what I, I taught myself on uh, that flight was... Uh, you were playing like Wordle or something weird. Oh, I do play that. Not Wordle. Uh, Sudoku. Ca- well, the game I grew up banging with on... Uh, man, what was... It's a word find. No. Remember, you wouldn't I remember those. All, that stuff used to melt my brain. Remember those websites you would go and have a, they'd have a bunch of games on them? Oh, yeah. Like E-Bombs just, World. Yeah, E-Bombs World-esque. It was like addicting easy games. games or addicting games. Like There was like a shit ton of those things. And what we grew up playing was Text Twist. Not grew up playing, but would dick around with was Text Twist. It, was, it gives you like a scrambled word and see how many words you can make out of it. It was also on, we got hooked on it because it was on, the bar machine on the corner of the bar where you can play like strip uh, or erotic I photo know, hunt. I know what you're they about. had that, and me and Pat, and you know, we'd sit there and you just fucking, you know, just all night, just gotta be drunk, mm-hmm. look, you know, trying. I was playing that, but I taught myself Sudoku. That was hot for a while, right? Wasn't everybody playing Sudoku? Big time. I, dude, it intimidated me. It's like chess to me. It's like, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not figuring that out. And, you don't know how to play chess? What? You just call it chess? No, chess. No, I don't know how to play chess. Do you know how to play chess? What are you, out of your fucking mind? Uh-uh. Do well, I know how to who play in my chess? family would ever teach me chess? Yeah, checkers, dog. King me, pussy. Yeah, never once. Checkers. I, the, when we were like 13, Flip had a board at the house, and we spent a lot of time at his house during, like in the summer because his parents were at work, so we would just like chill there. And a couple people like kind of had some of the rules. I know like only... You got to have, like, moves and, like, that's all map. That's that's real smart shit. No, on the highest end, the highest level. I know that, like, I think one of them goes up two and over three or over three and up two. I do know the way that some of them move. Pawns can go one at a time. Pawns go one. The yeah. castles can go straight up and back. The broad can go anywhere. <laughs> sure, as they do. And the king, what does he do? He sits back at the house, protects <laughs> it. Who's got, who's got to look after the castle? Man, all these years, you guys still find new and exciting ways to shock me with your dirtbaggery. What are you yeah. talking You know how to play chess? Yeah, his parents were dorks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did your parents do crossword puzzles? Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Man. On Sundays, too. That's the hard one. That's the hard oh, one. Oh, the times on Sundays? Oh, yeah. Damn. Whoa. Dr. D sitting down with a nice cup of joe. I never, I've never seen my mother pick up a book. I, I honestly, I, I, I don't. maybe to hit the flies in your <laughs> living room? <laughs> I don't know. What, man, I think you're going to say hit him, but flies in the living room. The dog was peeing on a rug or something. <laughs> Catch the newspaper. Nah, I don't think I've ever seen my mom read anything. My dad tried a little bit. But I don't think Southern Living and stuff like that. Southern Living? Yeah. Well, I do declare. <laughs> <laughs> they make the recipes. <laughs> or, not Cosmo. What's the other one? Hospitality. How What's, to make a fat kid? No. Some, Home and living. Penthouse. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, never a big nudie guy. Um, maybe what? What did you say it was? Home and garden. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. You catch like they have this and then that and yeah. oh, this is a, ten ways to upgrade your closet. Maybe or a whatever. Sports Illustrated article. They read the paper. Oh, they read the paper. Mm-hmm. But never like they wind up a crossword puzzle. My stepmom. I think she still plays Candy Crush, which is embarrassing. <laughs> Just hear like, da-ding, da-ding, da-ding. I should imagine your dad ripping the paper down, going, "Jesus Christ!" That clivers up to his old tricks. <laughs> <laughs> he liked the he liked the police report. Is really what they like. Good lord, they're selling a Ford Taurus for three hundred dollars. <laughs> That's a steal. They liked the police report, and when the kid was in the paper, which senior year was quite a bit. <laughs> Cheeseburger <eating> contest. <laughs> No. <laughs> Local fatso breaks another chair. <laughs> Get out of here with those cameras. <laughs> just a store owner just shaking his head. <laughs> Local idiot jokes on nickel. <laughs> Again. <laughs> More on schmishmarted on page three. Uh, <laughs> I like the local paper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I knew anybody that did a crossword puzzle. My stepmom was doing crossword puzzles in the TV guide every week. She'd sit there. That they were a little easier. E- that oh, was like yeah. you know. Oh yeah, they were very asking easy. about mash and stuff like that. Uh huh. But then she got all a- in the family. <laughs> <laughs> all in the wiener shit. <laughs> 
Man, um, I didn't understand were that at all. And then she got into Sudoku, and she would she had a book of all Sudoku, like a magazine. Mm -hmm. Remember, like a word search book. Mad Libs. I remember Mad Libs. Imagine like a Mad Libs, but it was just every page was Sudoku, and she would just sit there. Yeah, I know those books. After. You get them at the airport and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Mad a, Libs is like all a right. Coloring book style. Oh my! Can I get back into that? Is that is that just for kids? Mad Libs. No, they're fun. Good, clean fun. Dude, hardest I ever laughed. <laughs> First time I ever was doing an ad lib with my buddy. Mad Matt. lib. Mad, mad lib. Yeah. Yeah, and it was, we had just learned what, like, nouns and adjectives were, and he's like, give me a job. And, I, dude, we re he read it. I was shitting myself laughing at the end of his driveway. That I was like, why aren't they doing this on TV? This is the funny. This is funnier than anything I've ever seen, dude. We just did this. <laughs> Crazy. It's funny. <laughs> oh, God. I like the highlights when I was a kid. I'd done highlights. Sure. We never subscribed to anything. I could do those. I could do, like, find the picture, you know, all that stuff. But that thing you did on the plane that one time. <laughs> no, you couldn't find the picture. Holy shit. Yeah. Well, listen, we fly Delta so much, I have all the games memorized at this point. Or a lot of them. Uh, the, the photo hunt there, that's like. They don't change it enough. Photo hunt. Well, it's like. Oh, is that how you knew where all those things were? Yeah. The roller skates and all that shit. <laughs> Man. Well, no, I know what to look for in them. I know what they look like. That was like you had to be CIA level investigator to yeah. find that crap. Uh -huh. Match sticking with the spoons and stuff like that. Give me solid there. Let's yeah. go. Um, yeah, that's. Uh, <sighs> but. Uh, what was the question? The uh, corn, corn star. The coin star at the casino. Brutal. Which. But think about it on their end. I thought it was like, oh, I'm scrounging change together to make a bet. But they probably go, it's probably one of the only local ones in town. Like, oh, bring your change bucket in here. We'll get them to just be like, oh, we'll go gamble with yeah, you. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Take your voucher right over to the, Smart, to the booth. Right over to the table. Boom. Let it ride. Let it ride. If I had the option to put my Coinstar slip on red. That's, oh, my God. That would be so much fun. I would, I would do it friends. every time. Yeah. Yeah, let's why go. not? Wait till that two liter gets filled with quit nickels. Let's get out of here. Let's go gambling, I dude. Know. Yeah, hey. There's no casinos. I make a trip. Yeah, there is. There's Empire. Ooh. Empire. <laughs> um, all right, let's see Excuse here. Excuse me. This one's from Dan. Uh, are you garbage if you and your wife are in the driveway ripping heaters and drinking Natty Light so often that your neighbors call you the outside people? Whoa. That ain't great. Although fun. Yeah. I. I Outside people are fun till it's not fun. Does that make sense? You mean the neighbors that are outside all the time? Yeah, it's like it's fun if you do it once a week, but if it's like every day, it's just and then you're out there. Things get way too you get too comfortable. Are you day. out there? Are you out there causing a ruckus? In the burbs? Yeah. Uh no, I'm out on the back. I'm you know, I'm having a heater in the back. Throw uh, the dog throw the dog the ball and that's it. Yeah. I'm Remember not those doing... people you could never tell if they were home or not? They were just never there. Mm -hmm. What the hell? Yeah. Always weird. The lights are no always... cars and shit. No decorations. No Christmas. No Hanukkah. No nothing. No you lights know, on. Yeah. yeah, hate it. Like that. you don't even have the light over the front door. Let you know you <laughs> fucking. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, Goddamn haunted house over here. <laughs> Trim that grass, will you? Um, I remember we split um down in Wildwood. It was on like fucking Twelfth Street in North Wildwood. My mom and aunt uh had rented a place for a month. It was two bedrooms. So it was my mom, Joe, my aunt, my uncle, and then five kids in a two-bedroom. <laughs> and we were coming and going. Like, my uncle was a cop, so he was driving up and back. Like, he'd come for three days, leave, whatever. Same thing when my stepdad was home working, but would come down, and the, the, the wives were down there with the kids. And we were just, I guess my mom and my aunt stayed in the same bed, and then all the kids just in one room, I guess. Um, Animals. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I mean, there almost was a there was a, almost a drop down, fucking chaotic fight over someone opened the I think it might have been me the the hot dog or the bread was knotted and someone just ripped it and then you know what I mean and like so you couldn't close it again they just ripped it open because they couldn't get the knot out that was a declaration of war oh, and it. Dude, everybody's like, it was Liam, it was Aunt Cam. I think, dude, every because it ruined the loaf of bread. Because you're down there, that's it. That fucking salt air gets into that. That yeah, Stroman just sitting there eating silent sandwich. Uh, dude, <laughs> <it> just... <laughs> Who the fuck took? The... I think 
I, if I had to put money on it, it was probably me. I don't really remember, though. But we had the back of the house. So there was like one of the, you know, like a shore house is broken up into like a bunch of different apartments. Sure. Uh, we had the back of the house and the neighbors that had, had the front of the house that were real outside people. And man, we called them, we called them the Springers because they were out there like fucking having people in headlocks and you stupid motherfucker, you stupid bitch, screaming at each other. That was our entertainment because they didn't have no fucking cable. We were just fucking sitting there. Sitting there I, eating stale bread. Eating stale bread with a fucking screaming cold Coke watching the neighbors fight. Shout out to it. Hearing a little onesie. Go over there and maybe hit Ed's fun cake. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see here. Uh, this is from Kip the Skip. Shout out to you. Love it. Irish hoagie here. That's pretty good. An Irish, Irish hoagie. And Irish hoagies. All right. Are you garbage if your mom dresses up as Santa instead of your dad? Ooh. Ooh. That's not the good. I'd rather that than like a sexy elf or something like God, that. Give me the elf. You want your mom dressed up like a sexy elf? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, nah. I don't know. No, it doesn't have to be sexy. Do Mrs. Listen, Claus. Listen, if Pop ain't around. Do Mrs. He said instead of your dad. Yeah, I'm saying if your dad, so meaning that the dad's around. I, I mean, I'm. If the dad ain't around, mom's doing what she's got to do. I, well, she could easily do Mrs. Claus, though. Mrs. Cla Mrs. Claus. Let me tell you something about Mrs. Claus. She's got a dumper on her. <laughs> <laughs> Went to high school with her. A little heartbreak. Uh -huh. She don't get enough love. You're not wrong. She doesn't. Mrs. Claus? No. Does she travel the earth spreading joy in a single night? She supports the man that she does. She backs him up, dude. Uh-huh. Dude, he well, thinks wrapping all the presents and shit, making sandwiches and whatnot. The, the, the elves. The elves. Well documented. His nah. army of slave labor. There you go. Now, she should... I, you know what? They should really lean into that a little bit more. Mrs. Claus should be the one, like, reading stories or something like that. Mm-hmm. I think they do do Mrs. Claus. I think all the malls will do some that sort of version. That might be a good way Mrs. for me Claus. to get out of doing Santa Claus every year. Get someone to do Mrs. Claus? Yeah. That ain't bad. Pitch that to my cousin. <clears throat> see what she thinks. Nah, but it's her if, house. But if you got, if you got she someone. She sits down with like the nice, you know, the hair. That's in addition to Santa. If you got you with your frame. He's and, busy. And, you, and your acting chops. There you go. Now he's in. <laughs> I know how to know how to appease the big man. I kill it. Let's be honest. Sure. Do the whole thing. Yeah. Just tough, tough remember all those reindeer names. Mm -hmm. Vinny, Steve. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> I'm Gary. I'm Tony. I'm Rocco. <laughs> Stupid. If my mom, if I was six years old and my mom had walked into Santa Claus, I would have just looked at my brother and been like, so he's not real, huh? Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I. That's a tough look. Um. Yeah, that's tough. But hey, if mom's doing what she's doing, Babies, I respect you don't have, it. They don't have the frame to build. Are they doing the beard and everything? I don't know. I'm not there. I'm not, at this, Mrs. I'm not at this hillbilly Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just do Mrs. Claus. Yeah. She should get more love. She really should. I'm with it, dog. Keeps the goddamn family together. Uh-huh. Uh, she right. keeps the cocoa hot. That's that might, that might be all that needs to keep the family together. That cocoa gets cold. Who represented her well? I can't remember who. Somebody, somebody did a good Johnny Mrs. Cochran. <laughs> somebody did a good. Yeah, jammed it's up. A fraud case. Somebody portrayed her well. Mrs. Claus. I don't know. The one with Kurt Russell? Was it Goldie Hawn? You ever Goldie see that? Goldie Hawn is Mrs. Claus. Christmas Chronicles? Oh, the first you one. You ever smoked that Christmas Chronic? <laughs> <laughs> you, like yeah. you like seeing angels? <laughs> you want to see, you see, you see elves? Huh? You want to get lifted? Christmas Chronicles 2. Yeah, Goldie Hawn. Yeah, she's great. Love Goldie Hawn. Love Kurt Russell. Yeah. Do yourself Are a they favor. Still together? I, yeah, I think so. I think so. Is Goldie Hawn alive? Yeah. Okay. I'm, all right. I'm sorry. You knocking wood on that? A national treasure. Mrs. Claus, you're t talking about. You never saw Overboard? Yeah, of the course. Two of them. Yeah, I was. Uh, well, yeah, it's a little. <sighs> yeah, I mean that, that's a, that's a little Feel plot. The heat, huh? That's a little plot flaw. He pretty much kidnaps a woman. <laughs> <laughs> that makes her be the mother of his fucking rat snot nose kids. That's true. Then he fall in love. Uh, all right, this one's from Nader. Nader, ten dollars shareholder. Never had one read. Is a garbage move two and a half hours away from your hometown, but then still go to a community college? <sighs> I mean, why would you do that? Maybe it's a better program or something. The only thing in my head that pops is like more rural. 
or you just want to get the fuck out of you want to get out of Dodge. You know, I'm gonna what get I mean? out of like, here. I'm gonna get an apartment. What's yeah? Like, what's the difference? Are you still saving money on that? You think rather than going to a four year school? Sure, sure. If you could just get an apartment on your own. Yeah, if you have money to get it, I'm making up a number. Of, you know, I don't know where this person is, but a thousand bucks a month to get an apartment. Or maybe much? he's maybe he's living with a buddy who already has a place, and it's like, hey, it's four hundred bucks a month, and you go, okay, great. What does community college cost? Not much, probably. Give me eyes on a uh, semester at Montgomery County Community College. Uh, can let me guess. I, I remember what Bucks was. If Bucks was that's that's all hillbilly. He's the learned people at Montgomery County Community College. <laughs> Uh, hold on. Don't say anything, though. Let me guess. Uh, you got eyes on it? Yeah. It's got to be about... What's their master's program like? I don't know. I got, To be perfectly honest, I couldn't remember the name of the school you just said, so I said average cost of community college in America. I would Montgomery say... Montgomery County I, I would say... Community college. I might not say it. That might not be public. I don't know. Why wouldn't that be public? Doesn't every school public? That won't get you in the door first. You don't give away that information. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cut you a good deal. Yeah, they, want, they gotta be able to close these idiots. That's true. I would say, what? <laughs> this has gotta be some Ivy League community college. It's expensive, I bet. Yeah. It's in a nice part of town. Yeah. 10K. A semester? A semester? No, a year. A year. That's cheap, isn't it? What's it's college cost? Still a lot of money. You said Widener costs sixty thousand to fill out some coloring books and whatever else is they teach over there. It's good schools. Community college ain't what they were like when you were a kid. When I was a kid. They're nice now. Yeah, they're teaching you how to <laughs> double fry the fries. <laughs> Wait, Man. Jesus Christ. They have in-state tuition and to out-of-state? You stink. Out-of-state? Yeah. Who's doing that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm... It's the guy you're talking about. Bucks is the same amount. In-state tuition, uh, 9100 bucks. Out-of-state, thirteen three. What the fuck? What does that even mean? I don't know. What are you driving from? Maybe you're driving from Jersey. <laughs> so they... <laughs> Why are you looking at me like Jersey? <laughs> that's crazy. Lady, um, yeah, that's, that's still a lot of money. It's a lot. Um, you got a park and shit. Probably no cafeteria. There's a cat. I remember. I remember. I went one time with my buddy. I think to like drop his books all. Like he was done. He had crapped out. And I remember being like, "This, this ain't for me." It was just like it was. You were in college, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I think it was like the summer, and he was something. And I remember being like, "Dude, this ain't, this ain't it. Whatever, whatever you think you're getting out of this ain't it." But I have also had friends. To the point, use it so perfectly, especially with Temple, because uh, like go the, there two years and then go to, go to you a, graduate from Temple and you save fucking you yeah. Know. Uh, Plus, I knew a couple of my friends' parents that when that had kids young and then went back to uh, went back got a n murdered it, just straight A's. They were like thirty, just killed it, killed it, killed it, killed it. Yeah. Killed it. And then got like a really good job. And yeah, no, it makes if you use it right, it makes sense. And like looking back, I'm like, oh, I could have just done two years at community college and f saved fucking, you know, fifty thousand dollars worth of fucking debt. See if any community colleges have a have a football program. I got two years they, of eligibility left. They do. Some do. I yeah. Think Bucks does. Really? You know how much temple is a year in state? Eight dollars. Twenty grand. Yikes. Um, that seems low. Widener's sort of, 60. This I feel guy's like, talking about I feel about like mine me. was, you did not graduate. It does not matter. Yes, it does. My dad still wrote the check. <laughs> no, he didn't. No, he didn't. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Jam me up. You guys both still wound up in the same room wearing the same shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Student loan payments. Yikes. Oh, maybe they don't have a football team. Baseball. Men's baseball. They have uh, basketball? Nah. Yeah, I don't know. Baseball. Offer six non-scholarship. I could DH. Di Hold on. They offer six non-scholarship varsity sports. Varsity don't sound great. <laughs> Men <laughs> what the fuck? Are you back in high school? <laughs> they got golf, nah. men's and women's tennis, no. men's and women's volleyball, nah. equestrian, maybe, unseat. 
women's soccer, men's soccer. How? Spring sports, softball, baseball, golf, volleyball. Get me on the baseball team. <laughs> a community college horse team is so oxymoronic. It's That's insane. Why? Because it's like, I mean, it's like the richest, yeah, most but there's refined. A version, there's a version of people up like in upper bucks. Yeah, lower a lot of people, bucks. A lot is, of people have horses. Lower bucks is like it's very rural. Northeast Philly. Upper bucks is like it goes up to like it's like actual country. Oh, I was like, thinking like of like shit. what's the horse dancing? No, oh, no. the yeah. lombada. First of all, the electric slide. S- Snoop Dogg and Kevin Hart watching that. Did you ever see that? Oh, with the crip walk. Oh, goes oh shit, the horse crip walk. He goes, <laughs> I need to get him in a video when he, they cut to the horse and he's like. Oh, he's flexing on a set. It's the funniest thing yeah, in the it's world. Yeah, so funny. <laughs> oh, shit. Look at the horse. He crib walking, cuz. I got to get him in a video. Man, Snoop Snoop shout out to right. Snoop Dogg, man. That guy's been working for fucking 100 years. years, man. Speaking of sports, this is from Kef- Kippy's Left Wink. Um, Love it. Is it garbage to fly a flag of your favorite sports team or teams in front of your house? Yeah, man. That's a tough one. Even look. in the playoffs? Yeah. I get it. I like seeing the playoffs. It. In, the playoff. off, in the off season is the toughest look. Off season is a tough look. Down the shore, down the you're down the beach. You beach can house, do that. you're allowed. Yeah, you know who does that real nice? Uh, the big guy, uh-huh. Myers. Uh-huh. Uh huh. My cousin uh, went to Loyola. Mm-hmm. He went to Miami. Mm-hmm. And then Loyola is a good school. And they got a house on the they got a house on the bay there, so they fly the Loyola, I ins- I Miami, American, and then I think the Texans because he played for the Houston Texans. Sure. So he's got the. I go. That's pretty good. That's all right. It's good. You got the whole gamut going. In. Yeah, I think uh, like the UN nationality yeah, it's a lot of beeps, American flag, nationality flag. You know, Irish, Italian, wherever you're from. Uh, POW is always a good one. If you have a kid in like the Naval Academy or like the Army or if you got a Marine in the house. Sure. A couple people have to rock that, that red Marine flag. I get that. <sighs> Talk about knowing not to fuck around. We didn't have any. Stay out of that guy's yard. We never had any flag ever of any sort. We had, we had the American and the POW. Uh, do we have? Back in the day. I don't think we have one any down the shore either. Maybe like a going out of business or something like that. No, we didn't. Everything must go. <laughs> I feel like the American flag at the Foley household would have like forty nine stars. Like we don't, we don't recognize Alaska. Yeah, it's not true. My dad was stationed there. Very, very pro Alaskan. Okay, I don't know. Only you could take offense to that. <laughs> How, only you could take offense to that. How dare you, son of a bitch? <laughs> My dad ran the Iditarod fifteen times. He was stationed in the Aleutian Islands. Okay, and he volunteered for Nam. Uh huh. Mixing it up. Sure. Getting nasty. Yep. Okay. Toby. I don't know why you tell me this. <laughs> like you don't tell me this every day. You mean you tell me this so many times that it feels I go, oh, oh yeah. Okay. I don't know what to say anymore. Do you know my dad was in the Navy? <laughs> oh man. Like stealing valor over here. Love you, buddy. I'm not stealing valor. I'm giving props. Mm-hmm. Just happened to be wearing it's an admiral's suit. I, I think so. <laughs> What'd you say? I just happened to be wearing an admiral's <laughs> suit. <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> just you getting dragged out of a Walmart going, I'm bigging them up! <laughs> yeah. We were in the Navy. <laughs> Pull up in an old Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> Got that big cigar. <laughs> now the corn cop pipe. <laughs> I, I look like MacArthur. Gentlemen. <laughs> it's an homage! <laughs> I'm, I'm paying tribute. We were talking about that not that long ago. If you go old, it's not stolen valor. <laughs> You're running around in Civil War gear. <laughs> <laughs> Doing stolen valor. Where you, were you stationed? You got your arm in your shirt, and, and, this, and, this, is, and this part sewed. <laughs> Ah, yes, Gettysburg. Gettysburg. <laughs> so you fought at Antietam, huh? <laughs> this is completely idiot. <laughs> what? I look young for my age. 200. <laughs> Dirt bags. Ah, uh, yes, the Battle of the Bulge. I was there. <laughs> it was actually fought on Breed's Hill. <sighs> I love when those videos where they bust those guys, where like a couple of real guys go up and just grill them. Man, it's and some they, fat guy. It's they like, know it's coming, too. Woo! 
And they tried to squirm out of it. They tried to squirm out of it by using real military jargon. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, a CO doesn't have a thing. And, you know, we didn't because it was a declassified. My dad on the low always clocked that shit. And even dudes that would, like, you know, like fluff up their ribbons or whatever. He wouldn't he'd never say anything, but then in the car, he'd be like, "Ah, fucking guy didn't fucking." Didn't. I I had friends that had served, and then others, uh, and like they would wear their, you know, their white. They were Marines, they you know, whatevers, and they were like, nobody fucking. You yeah. don't wear those. Like that's like that's a guy. You know, I'm not saying I know anything about it, but no, my course. other Marine friends would be like, "That guy is, is a goober." Yeah, it's goob city. Yeah. Did you notice anybody else wearing that? No, <laughs> just that you know that type of thing. But there is, it's so, it is crazy to me that it's so big and there's so many scopes of the military. You know what I mean? That it's like, it's tough for anybody to know all of the stuff. That's why, sure. I, that's why I'm like, yeah, how could you get past with the lies? But I guess like, you, you can talk enough. You know what I mean? I think they're not, the, not counting on somebody who knows what they're talking about rolling up on them. Sure. They're trying to get a free meal at Applebee's or whatever they're doing. <laughs> Scumbags. Thanks for your service. All right, this is from Lauren, $10 homie. Is it garbage that your husband is a distant cousin of the banjo player from Deliverance? Yikes. Is that? I don't think I've ever seen Deliverance. I only know it as the reference. I've seen it bits and pieces. Um, is it garbage? I, uh, I don't know. Is he an actor? No. It's the kid with the eyes, right? Yeah. Well, what's he doing now? He's talented. I don't think he's still alive. There's no way. No, it's a guy. It's a kid. There's no way he's still alive. No way. No, he is. Is he? Died March 2020. Ah, that's pretty good. Hung in there for a while. 19, 1939 to 2020. 39? Whoa. 1939, yeah, so he's 60. 61. No. 81. 81. <laughs> we, both, we both said that. Man, that kid will creep you out. What year did Deliverance come out? 80s, I believe. Or yeah. Maybe the 70s? I oh, didn't well, love it. This kid's it. young, though, no? I didn't love it. This kid? That kid. That's not who I'm thinking of. I think Eric wrote the song. I don't know. That's the kid that played it. The Dueling Banjos. I don't think anybody wrote that. I think that's a no, song that's was... been around for a while. No, this is Billy Redden. Billy Redden is the American actor best known for his role as Backwoods Mountain Boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tough gig to get, huh? They got read for that. Uh, the banjo kid, real name Lonnie in the film, was played by Billy Redden, who was 15 years old at the time. Billy's now 66 years old and left the, and left the world of Hollywood behind. Damn. As soon as that movie was over. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Kid got jammed off. <laughs> Um, typecast sh- showing up to the audition for Jaws with a banjo. <laughs> <They're> like, buddy, <laughs> well, you know what this scene could use? <laughs> Something to set the mood here. Trying to get into Star Wars with it. Uh, man. Uh, speaking of, uh, this is Rocco. Is it garbage that your stepdad is also your uncle? Yes. Man. Anytime that's happening, but. It's not that crazy. Your stepdad is your uncle, so that means your, your t- mom married your, your dad's brother. Brother, yeah. That's not great. It, but it's not crazy, especially back in is. the day. We're not talking back in the day. This guy didn't write this from fucking Antietam. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just said Antietam. <laughs> That's what I call it. A callback. <laughs> um, I get it, though. It's like I get you, it, too. It's like you've been driving a Camry around. You know, you might as well check out the Corolla. No. You're around. You, you, you form feelings. You know what I mean? I mean, in the Patriot, sure. Mel Gibson did what he had to do and, and married. Didn't he marry his aunt or his sister, his wife's sister? And they took care of the, the kids together. I've never seen it all the way through. Whoa. It's one of my biggest disappointments. My dad loved that movie. Man. He... You see the the hatchet scene in the back, right? Uh, it was where he takes the guy out at the end, the red coat, the mean oh, guy. Oh, that guy. I mean, that guy. He had it coming. That was, sure. That was for America. Uh, uh, no, he goes nuts at one time, like goes overkill with a, some sort of axe. Mel and, does. Yeah. Just after Heath Ledger gets a... Uh, and might have been right at that. Ish, maybe. Yeah, around that. Time. I got to give it a look. That, that, was, that was one of my favorite movies for a, a long time. Really? Yeah. Man. All right. What? I got to give it a look. Man, you I can never you know get through guy. it. I was mean? a braveheart it's guy. It's nonstop action. 
I was a Braveheart guy. I got Braveheart. Plus, got the, the aunt that he ends up marrying has a set of cans on her. I, her I know who you're talking about. You Pretty blonde. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, that was his brother's wife? That was his sister's his His wife's sister. Uh, oh. well, there you get. She had passed away. She had the fever. Sure. Or something like that. <laughs> yeah. oh, the Redcoats got her. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't seen it in a long time. <laughs> But you know what you know what it has in it jammed up by the Lenape. <laughs> yeah, you know what that what it has in it that's really fun and one of my favorite movie characters of all time, the fat guy with bad hearing in the 1700s. So he has the horn. I love that guy. That guy's great. What? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Shout out to you, baby. Um, all right, let's see. This is from Taylor. Is it garbage to use a Bluetooth speaker for a while in your car because your speakers shit the bed? I've done that in the Montego because uh, I didn't have any aux cord, or and I think the CD player was jammed. So what? We'll, yeah, my I we had, we had a Bose Bluetooth in there. The That's head, what we were bumping. Headphones are the toughest look. I would do that too. The bird would. That's dangerous. The bird would be sleeping or whatever. Like you know, I'm gonna you know whatever, and, and I would just put in headphones in a podcast and just. Yeah, how do you hear anything? What do you mean? I don't know. Somebody pulling up alongside of you or something? <laughs> what, are they going to shoot me? What do you mean pulling up alongside of me? I don't know. Screeching not, tires or a horn or something? Yeah, I'm not, I can still hear. I'm still aware. And we've talked about that. I think we looked it up. There's no illegal. There's no. It's not illegal to drive with headphones in. Okay. You can do it, for sure. You can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember. Um, yeah, but I, it's a perfect solution. What, are you going to get a new car? It's like a fucking Bluetooth speaker you can get for... Probably you thirty you bucks. You can't buy a radio anymore, can you? What do you mean? Can you get it? You can't get a radio for your car, like a head unit. Yeah, like the way you used to be able to buy like an aftermarket radio. No. You can't get that anymore. No, because it's all uh, computers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And can also, you get new speaker? Can you get a system put in your car? Sure, of course. I had an Uber with I don't know twenty sevens in the back. The other shout night. out, shout out to a subwoofer. So. You can change that stuff, but it's still coming from the the power or whatever. Well, you used to have. Listen, this is how it was. This is a dirt bag. It was my friends. We did it, and it was always my dream to have a system, but I never had the cash. Uh, when it's in a car, I believe it's pronounced sit 'em. Sit 'em. Um. So most times you had to change the head unit, i.e., radio, mm-hmm. because there was only cassette players. And you needed a CD. You, I mean, if you're doing that, you need CDs. You don't get laid. Right? <laughs> you're taking your little wee-wee wet. You have to. So that was the first thing. It was like, I'm going to get that so I can play CDs. Right? Right. Otherwise, there was a cassette or nothing. It was just the radio. Right. You're not fucking spending three. You're not putting three grand to fucking rattle in the trunk to play the fucking Q102. You know what you're I mean? You're not King right. Kong in the trunk bumping yeah. NPR, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Full 15s. I didn't see no wires. Um, And then... So then you would get the subs, but the power of the subs, you had to have an amp. So you had to get an amp and subs. That you can't up. do that now. You can put amps and subs in, yeah. But you don't. I'm saying you don't need to change the head unit because uh, it's a computer already. Gotcha. You can just plug your phone in and. I'm Boom. sure you got to do some sort of software update to fucking sure, make it all, all right. talk. But I you missed were, those days where you could get a get a new radio. <sighs> yeah, but you see, you're upgrading it. You had to do it to upgrade it. Now you don't need an upgrade. Now you don't need an upgrade. You got to keep every car. I it's mean, my digital. Kia has a fucking computer screen in it. Yeah. Whew. For the first time I, ro- I rode in a car with a system like that, it's bone rattling and the air horn just hit mm-hmm. for every song started with sure. an air horn. It was so goddamn loud. And I was like, why the air horn? And my buddy just looks back and goes, so you know, it's the remix. And it's he true. turned it up. And I was like, dude. You ain't wrong, baby. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> All right. We got to wrap it up, gang. Gang, I'm going to tell you this right now. I tell you all the time. We love you to death. Mm-hmm. Uh, grab some tickets to that DC show. DC. And- Couple left there. And that second Philly show. Scoop them up. Yeah, gang. We love you. And we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.